Let's go over how to add mods to your local game so that you can play on a modded server. The first thing you need to know about running mods on your Minecraft game is that you'll need a mod loader like Forge or Fabric. For this video, we're going to install Forge, but the link to Fabric will also be in the description below. The mod loader that you choose to use is usually determined by the mods that you want to play. Some mods support both Forge and Fabric, but some mods only support one or the other. For this tutorial, we're going to download just enough items, which has a version for for both Forge and Fabric. When you're on the Forge download page, which you can get to by going to files.minecraftforge.net, you'll need to select the version of Minecraft Forge that you want to download. For this, we're just going to use the latest version, 1.20.1. Over here, we're going to download the recommended file, which we can do by hitting installer. This has taken us off to an ad focus page. We don't need to touch anything here. We just need to wait 10 seconds until this red skip button appears in the top right corner. Hit skip, and then you should see your download begin. Once Forge is downloaded, we can close out of this tab. The next thing we need to do is find the mod that we want to download. Now, if you already have a mod in mind, great. Otherwise, we can browse through CurseForge and find a mod that works for us. In this case, I already know that I'm going to be downloading just enough items. Once you land on the mod page, make sure there are no dependencies required to run this mod. Most of the time, if not all of the time, the dependency will be shown in the description page right here. If there's no dependency listed, head over to files and then let's download the version that matches the Forge version that we downloaded. In this case, this is 1.20.1. Forge. Click the three dots to the side and hit download file. If any dependencies were listed in that description, you would need to download them as well. Now let's open our downloads folder. Hit start and we can hit file explorer or type downloads. Open the folder and then we should see our forge and just enough items mod here. For ease of use, I'm just going to drag this to the desktop for now. At this point, what we need to do is right click on forge and hit open with Java. Now, if you don't see Java, what you'll need to do at that point is download Java 17 from the Java website. If you're still having issues opening the file after that, you may need to install the jar fix, which you can see at our link down below. Once you finally see the option to open with Java, you'll see a window that looks like this. In this case, what we're going to do is hit install client and hit OK. Now, you should run through all of this, but if you get an error at the end, it may be due to never playing the version that you selected. To fix that, you would go to Minecraft, add a vanilla installation that matches the version of Forge, and then hit play. Once the game launches, you can exit out and then try this method again. If everything goes smoothly, at the end you should see something like this that says successfully installed client profile. Hit OK, and then the window should completely close. At this point, what we need to do is open the Minecraft launcher, so hit start and type Minecraft. Most of you at this point should see Forge or Fabric automatically selected here. But if you don't, don't worry, you should be able to click here. But if you don't, hit installations and then come over here and make sure modded is checked. If you still don't see it after checking modded, what you can do is hit new installation and we'll name this Forge. At this point, scroll down until you see release 120 Forge. You can set a custom resolution and then hit create. The same method will work for fabric as well. At this point, we need to add our mods though. And the way we can do that is by hitting this folder icon right here on the installations page. Hover over Forge or the Forge version that you created and hit the folder button. This will open our .minecraft folder. Once that opens, you should see a folder that just says mods. Now, if you don't see that folder, don't worry. You can right click, create a new folder and just name it mods all lowercase. Open up this folder and now it's time to drag our mod in. So for this, we're going to drag just enough items, 1.20.1 for Forge, into this folder. We don't need to run it or do anything else. The mods folder works the same for both Forge and Fabric mods. It should just be the same folder. You just drag your mods in there, and then you can head back to the launcher and play Forge or Fabric. I'm going to hit I understand the risks and hit play. If you did install Forge, you can also click the mods button right here, and you should be able to see your mods installed. At any point on Forge, you can also hit open mods folder, and it will open the folder that we dragged our mod tube earlier. Let's hit done, go back to single player, and from here we can create a new world. At this point for our game, I'm just going to call this new world JEI. I'm going to change the game mode to creative, and let's go ahead and create our world. Once we're in, if we hit E, we'll see that just enough items is open up on the right side of the screen. And if you're still having trouble, be sure to check out help.simplegamehosting.com for more information. You can also chat with one of our live chat representatives by clicking in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can either search the help guides or fill out the form and connect with one of our agents. 